Right now, what we're going to do is take a quick look at an Amazon listing from a seller's perspective. Things you should always be looking at when you're analyzing a listing and taking a first glance at a listing. Now, it's important to keep in mind that even though you're looking at products from a seller's perspective, you also have to keep the end consumer in mind. So you need to analyze the listing like a consumer, which should be easy because all of us are consumers. We consume every single day. When we go into Target, when we go into a shopping store, when we go into a mall, when we shop on Amazon, when we shop on walmart.com, we are consumers. Our minds are thinking like consumers day in and day out. So that should be the easy perspective. And if you can transfer your consumer perspective into your seller perspective, you're going to be set in a much better position to become a phenomenal buyer on Amazon.com. So let's just do a quick search here. We'll do, let's do Nesquik. A little chocolate milk action, maybe strawberry milk, who knows. Here, we have DS Quick View. DS Quick View gives you a quick breakdown of the main category that the product's in. Um, it gives you the category rank. It also gives you its subcategory rank. So this product is ranked 795 in beverages. It gives you a quick little copy and paste here of the ASIN. It tells you who it's sold by. And then here they have pricing history that DS Quick View populates as well. And then you hover over here, it gives you a little keep a chart. So that's before you click on the listing. So let's take a look at, this one has four sellers. Let's take a look at this Nestle Nesquik chocolate powder, 41.9 ounce. And now also before we proceed to the next page, you can see it on the next page as well. But something also to pay attention to is its star rating. Like this product is ranked 4.6 out of five stars. So that means the customers appreciate this product. It also has 146 customer reviews. So that's all good signs, right? And if you ever wanna dig deeper, you can actually click on the one star and you can see the one star ratings and you can see the two star ratings and the three star and the four star and the five star. So let's click on this listing here. And now this page here, what we're looking at is we, what we like to call the front side of the listing, right? This is the front of the listing. This is where on the left, you can see the listing images. This one has great images. It has the front, it has the ingredients and nutrition facts. It has a shot of the UPC. It has a shot of the good to remember, 45% less sugar. It's got a, a size shot. It's got a zoom up of the ingredients and the nutrition facts. These are great images and that's something you wanna look out for as well. Like, does the product have one image? Does it have seven images? How many images does it have? Are they quality images? Do they represent everything that the consumer's looking for? Like if I'm shopping for Nesquik, I, may, I might wanna look at how many calories are in this product. And if it's not on the listing, it may prevent me from buying it. So it's just something to keep in mind. And then once again here, they have the reviews, 146 reviews this product has. It's 4.6 out of five stars. Now you can click on these, it'll bring you right to the bottom of the page and you can actually um, sort by five star reviews. So you could only look at the five star reviews. You can go back here, something we like to do especially on variation listings when we're looking at reviews is we will like to sort by most recent and then it will give you an order if this was a variation listing a lot of times for verified purchases it will tell you what variation was purchased so if you're having trouble analyzing which variation is moving a great place to check is the reviews and it will tell you actually which product of that variation is selling and when the review was left. So for this one, for example, June 18th, June 15th, June 15th, June 13th, June 13th. So people are buying this product, May 30th. So people are buying this product and leaving pretty healthy reviews. So let's go back to the top here. Um, so this is the title. This is where the title sits in Amazon. This is Nestle Nesquik Chocolate Powder, 41.9 ounce. Now it has all of the indications that refer to a good title, right? It has the size of the container that you're purchasing in. It has the brand name as the first word in the title. And then it tells you what it is. It's Nesquik chocolate powder. And now the price that you see here is the buy box price. This is super important, this area here. 
If it does not have a price, if you do not see any pricing on this first page, it means the buy box is suppressed which could mean a few things. It either means that the product's gotten some terrible customer reviews, so Amazon's choosing not to push it to the end consumer, or it means that the price is not competitive to other marketplaces, so they're making it unsearchable when you search it on Amazon, they're suppressing the buy box. But this is where the buy box sits, and this is where if a seller shops from their cell phone, this will be the only option that they see right away. They'd have to scroll to the very bottom where it, sees, where it says additional sellers, and click on that to find out who else is selling it. Now on a desktop, it's a little easier to see the other sellers because you got a mouse and it's a little more visual. But on a cell phone, most people just click this button right here, add to cart, and then they're purchasing it from who has the buy box, which right now is Wilco's. So here it will say, whoever has the buy box, it will say ships from and sold by Wilco's. So what this is telling us is this is actually an FBM fulfilled by merchant order because it says shipped from and sold by Wilco's. If it's an FBA order, it would say ships from Amazon sold by Wilco's. So this just right off the bat, you can see it's an FBM order because it's shipped from and sold by the seller and not shipped from Amazon and sold by the seller. Also, it doesn't have the Prime badge here. Important to recognize as well. Now, if you click down here on the right, you could see usually the first three or four other sellers that are close to the buy box. But what we always like to do is click on the back side of the listing. So this is what we call the back side of the listing. And now this is where you can see other sellers and what price they're at and who's listed prime and who's competitive and also what their positive feedback rating is. So just like products have a star rating and a feedback rating, sellers on Amazon have a star and a feedback rating. And this seller, Super Shop, is 89% positive. So that means you know, one out of every 10 orders, they have a mishap on that someone complains about. Now this order, same thing, will cost 90% positive. So one out of every 10 orders, a customer's dissatisfied. Now this, this customer's one out of every 20 orders because it's 96% positive. And these are all some things you wanna analyze when you're looking at these Amazon listings because it's a good indication of what type of sellers are on these listings. And just taking a quick look at this listing, I see that it's, it's smaller sellers, 130 three ratings, 576 ratings, 42 ratings, 2,160 ratings, 90%, 96%, 90%, 89%. They're all smaller sellers who look like they're selling primarily FBM, Fulfilled by Merchant. So it's all stuff you wanna look at. Now also, in the delivery method in this column, it tells you what the estimated arrival date is. So this product arrives between July 16th and July 21st. This one's between July 15th and 20th. This one's between July 15th and 17th. Now, this is a great listing that if you could purchase and sell FBA on and compete at around $14.88, maybe even $14.99 because it's a grocery product, you would pick up a lot of the sales because you are a prime seller on a primarily heavy FBM listing and people have to wait almost 10 days to get this product from these FBM sellers. When if you, if you were prime on this listing, you would be able to ship it to them in two days, which is huge. So this is the back side of the listing and it gives you a breakdown of all the sellers. Sometimes it goes, you know, six, seven, eight pages long. This one like looks like it's three pages, but that's essentially the back end of the listing. That's all you really need to see over there. Keep a chart populates again. We go in depth in the keep a chart. I'm not gonna cover it in this video, but this is where the keep a chart lies on the back side of the listing. Now let's hop over to the front side of the listing. Some other things you wanna analyze from a seller's perspective with the consumer in mind. So this is where the bullet points sit, right here. Now this product has one bullet point, no artificial flavors or colors. Now, why is it selling 646 units? One, it has great images. Two, it has a great title. And three, it's Nesquik. Everybody knows what Nesquik is. Nesquik has been around probably 40 or 50 years. It doesn't need a ton of bullet points. It sells itself. People see Nesquik, they wanna buy it. So this product does not need a ton of bullet points to maintain a higher rank. Now, if this product maybe had four or five bullet points, could it increase the rank? Possibly. 
Absolutely. Possibly it could increase the ranking if it had four or five bullet points. But right now where it sits, it has one and it says no artificial colors or flavors. Scroll down a little. This is where the keep a chart sits on the front end of the listing. It's got the three graphs. Continue to scroll down. It has frequently bought together. This is huge when you're looking at variety packs because this is, once again, you're looking at this like a consumer. You're saying, wow, this customer bought this and this together. Maybe I want to buy this and this together. So if you take that consumer mentality and switch it to your seller perspective, then you're like, wow, maybe I could create a bundle with this Nest Quick and this Nest Quick and this Nest Quick put them all together and sell them on a new list. That's huge, that's a game changer. So taking that seller perspective, combining it with that consumer perspective, really allows you to better analyze these listings, right? And then they have sponsored products that are related to this item. So these are products that people are running sponsored PPC campaigns on. Um, they show up right here. You can scroll left and right and see other ones that are sponsored in a similar category. And then you scroll down and it said, what other items are customers buying after viewing this item, which is great for sourcing alternative listings. This is a place sometimes you'll find um, a two pack or a three pack of the same listing that you're looking at. This is a good place to find that. And then you scroll down here and it has a product description. Now, once again, this is Nesquik. This is a household staple. It's in you know hundreds of thousands of homes across the United States. So it doesn't have a lengthy product description. It just basically says chocolate powder 41.9 ounce, but that's okay. It's a name brand product. People know what it is. Some products have much lengthier product descriptions. And then we get down here to the product details. Now this is where you can see the dimensions of the product, which it's telling us this one is 5.6 by 5.6 by 8.8. .8. .8. Now we can always check those dimensions by here. And it looks like we got 5.4 by 5.5 by 8.6. So they're a little different than these dimensions. Similar though, but a little different. This is actually actually less shipping weight six pounds so there it is right there and 6.01 pounds so it's just good to kind of analyze this information look at the product details see if it matches the details in the calculator because that's going to indicate if this pick and pack fee is correct or not so these are just all things you want to keep in mind now also down here it has if it's domestic shipping or international shipping it also has the ASIN we usually prefer to take the ASIN from the URL because when you're all the way at the top of the listing, you don't have to scroll down. You just take the ASIN right out of the URL. That is another place the ASIN sits is in the URL. Um, and then they have the UPC that's associated with this product and an item model number. Now, this UPC doesn't mean it's the same UPC that's on the branded product that's on this listing. People create listings all the time with purchased UPCs, but it could be a help when you're purchasing a product if the UPC matches, but it doesn't have to match to ensure it's the correct product. And then once again, it gives you a breakdown of the customer reviews and the customer ratings. And then here is where the Amazon bestseller rank sits. This product is ranked 9,432 in grocery and gourmet food and it's number 12 in powdered chocolate drink mixes. So what I like to do, and you should be doing as well, because you wanna understand ranking, you wanna understand how it works. Amazon bestsellers rank is super important because you wanna be in a position where you're just able to look at the sales rank, like this one's right around 10,000 in grocery and gourmet food, and you should know that, all right, a product in grocery and gourmet ranked right around 10,000 is moving between five and 600-ish units a month. Right, so you need to train your brain and consistently look at ranks in different categories so you know estimates of what the sales are doing so you don't always have to bust out this calculator and this calculator just becomes a double check. And here this one right between, yeah, five and 600. It's moving a little more than 600, 646 units a month. So it's important to understand these rankings and this is where the Amazon bestsellers rank lies. It also lies on the previous page in DS Quick Field. And then they have some videos for related products. Scroll down a little further. It has ingredients and a legal disclaimer, if any. Some listings will not have a legal disclaimer. Some listings will not have ingredients. Some listings will not have product dimensions. Some will not have product descriptions. Some will not have bullet points. Some will only have one picture, right? These listings vary, and that's what helps the consumer decide which product they're going to pick to purchase. So as far as Amazon listings go, I actually want to touch on one more thing. This is a great little trick we use. Customer questions and answers. This is a great place to search 
customer questions if you ever need any additional information about this listing. Let's say just a hypothetical situation. You weren't sure if in this jug it was powder or packets, right? Something you could do is scroll down here to the have a question and you just type in powder. And now any customer reviews or questions that have the word powder or some form of the word powder, powdered, will pop up and you can review them. So yeah, this one says, is this just one container? And the person answered, yes, a very large one. I make homemade hot chocolate during the winter and it calls for Nesquik powdered sugar, powdered milk and coffee creamer. So boom, shows you right here that it's powder. This is where all the powder or powdered information that populates in either the questions or the customer reviews will populate. And that's essentially a breakdown of this listing everything you need to be looking at so you are becoming a savvy purchaser and looking at the listings not only like a seller but also a consumer right you want to look like a consumer because if you purchase a product that let's say let's say this nest quick had one and a half stars and right now it's selling 45 units a month and you purchase you know 36 units there's a high chance you're gonna get a lot of customer complaints or that listing might even get closed because you didn't do a full analyzation of the listing. We try not to buy products that are ranked, you know, two and a half stars or less. It's just not good for business. You don't want customers complaining and stuff. So this is essentially the breakdown of an Amazon listing. You guys are gonna learn, and girls are gonna learn so much more about Amazon listings and how to review this information. So we'll catch you in the next video. Stay lit. We're going to be looking at AZ Insight. A, Z, the letters, Insight. It is a tool developed by Ace and Zen.